and I love you, Lord. I know your mercy never fails me, and all my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am made, oh, I will sing. Father God, the 
goodness, the goodness of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The, the verse that's been, been sitting on my soul the last few days, and it's just so interesting that this would be the song that I get to come up and minister in. Because God is a good God, and He comes with goodness in our lives at, at every moment of every time. And, and uh, His word says, Jesus said, these are His words, these are red letters here. He says to you, He says to you, ask, and it will be given to you. He says, seek, and you will find. You, you, you need to understand that our God, this, our Savior Jesus, is not a God that is so far and so high and so distant that he cannot see, hear, or listen to you. But he's a good God who's calling us to ask, oh, he should already know. Why is he doing this? No. He wants his children. I love it when my children come up to me and ask for bold things. I love it when my kids come up when they ask for bold things because that means they have a belief in me to be able to fulfill those bold things. Our God is a good God just as we are good to our children. Our Heavenly Father and our Savior, Redeemer Jesus is a good God. Ask and it will be given. It's not a maybe, it will be given. Seek and you will find that someone here is seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, seeking direction. He will give it to you. Knock and the door will, will be open. For everyone who asks, receives. And the one who seeks, finds. And the one who knocks, the door will be open. For which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? for a fish? Will he give him a snake? If you then, though you are evil, thanks a lot, but yeah, a broken human being trying to show love, if you then know how to good gi give good gifts to God, how much more will your Father and heaven good gi give good gifts to those who ask him? So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you, for that sums up the law of the Lord. The God that we serve is a good God. He is a good God, and if anyone standing here wonders, if anyone standing here has doubt of that, I am here to say he is a good God, and I would love to ask of you to just reach out and ask of him. Knock and seek. I love that, um, is it the verse of the course? I'm not sure where it says, you are good and I lay my laid down life, I seek after you. I would say right now, that in the midst of our worship, that we would lay our lives down before him and see the goodness of God. See the goodness of God. I'd like to invite the, the prayer warriors to come up here. And if you have a need, if you have a desire, if you have some yearning of your heart that you are asking and seeking and knocking for, I'd love to have you join with a prayer partner here tonight or this morning because they would love to be with you through that process. They would love to intercede for you and just continue to push you towards that which you need. God is a good God. Let's go back into that and let's just let the Lord have his way. Amen. The God we serve is a good, good God. Amen. In all my life yes. you have been faithful. Yes, declare it. And all my life you have been so. If you have so a need, come on up. If you need healing, come on up. If you need a relationship restored, come on up. Oh, I will say. If you have a child that you're interceding for, come on up. If you need deliverance from fear, from depression, from 
difficulty. If you have a question in your life that God is a good God and he's here to deliver you, he's here to give you answers, come forward, just come forward. God is a good God and he wants to hear you. He wants to meet you. He wants to love you. He wants to hear your desires. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, his goodness is running after you. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, with my life laid down is surrender. Hallelujah. Your goodness is running out. Oh, it's running out to me. Your goodness is running out. It's running out to me. Oh, it's chasing me down. Your goodness is running out. Oh, it's running out to me. In my life, lay down. I surrender now. I need you every day. Your goodness is running out. Oh, it's running out to me. And I've been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. Yes, you have, Lord, with every breath that I am able. Lord, I will sing of the goodness of God. Come on, even when it seems to be dark. I will sing of the goodness of God, even in the waiting period of time. I will sing of the goodness of God. Oh, yes, I will. I will sing of the goodness of God, even when I can't see the other side of the tunnel. I will sing of the goodness of God. All of our worship, it's for you. 
God, it's why we're here. Oh, we love, we love, we love, we love who you are. God, I look to you. vision to see things like you do God I look to you you're where my help comes from give me wisdom you know just what to do yeah I trust God, I love to you, and I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision to see things like you do. God, I love to you, and you're where my help comes from. Give me wisdom, you know just what to do.
fill this place glory to glory grace to grace here and now your kingdom has come our god eternal now and forever Our God reigns. Like our God reigns. We don't serve a lifeless God, a mute God, an idol. We don't serve something electronic. We don't serve something that fails and fades away. We don't serve something that is not eternal. We serve the eternal God. The one who's trying to make us just like him. Purifying us. Filling us with his righteousness, his peace, his Holy Spirit. Bringing us into unity with the Father. That's the God we serve. He reigns above every circumstance, every situation. He is so good. God, we just thank you for today. God, we just thank you for this opportunity to commune with you, God. That it's so easy. We don't need to go through any other intermediary person or thing other than you, Jesus. We don't need a priest. We don't need a pastor to get access to you, God. We just have you. And I just thank you, Holy Spirit, just right now. We just welcome you in more. We thank you for the ways you've come, the ways that you've moved already, the ways that you've walked in the room. And God, we just invite you right now on Connect Sunday, God, that you would connect in us, with us in such a deeper level, such a deeper way, that you would commune with us as a husband does to a wife, that God, you would be that close to us. Everybody put your hand in your heart right now. Just say this. Jesus, Jesus consume, me. consume me. Have your way in my life, in my relationships, in my job, at home. Have your way, God. 
consume me. Consume me. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are so good. You are so good. Can we just do this really quick? Can you just like link arms with the person next to you, left and right? Just really quick. God loves unity. He loves unity. And we're all gathered here together. Not out of convenience. It's not easy to make the drive on a Sunday morning when you want to do something else, you got other plans, but you made it here today. It's not an accident. So we're all here in unity. So right now, I just want to pray just for uh, just the goodness of God, just to rest literally and physically. His manifest presence of God would rest in the neighbor on your right and your left and then everyone in the row. So could you just do that for like 30 seconds? Let's just pray and declare because it's so good. Out of unity, he commands blessings. So let's just do that right now. God, we just thank you for the person on our right and our left. God, we just thank you for the unity of this body. We thank you that you're building us up into you. God, we thank you that we look just like you in purity and righteousness, that we're a light to the world, that God, every, every financial need is met, God. We just thank you that every workplace need is met, God. We just thank you that relationships are being restored. We thank you that families are coming back together. We say lost brothers and sisters are coming back to the Lord. We just thank you, Jesus, for this body of believers here in Fife, the ones who have come together, that God, we would come and we'd enter into more unity into more presence, into more power than we've ever known. And we do it by coming together right now, God, talking with you, loving on you, worshiping you together, and gathering together as one body, the body of Christ. And we just bless the person on the right and the left right now, in Jesus' name, and everybody said, amen. Amen. Let's give a shout. Come on. You are good. 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 All right, so today is Connect Sunday, so you get a little bit of more extended time to connect in that unity, all right? So we're gonna set a timer up there, five minutes. If, if you gotta go get some coffee or water, we got some in the foyer out there. If you did not sign up for a raffle, you can do that now. So there's a raffle out there, you can win some free t-shirts, some awesome ones from our summit. But now just connect, learn the person on your right and left, who are they? Where did they go to school? What's their favorite color? Do they play Pokemon? I don't know, why don't you ask them? <laughs> 